Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is A scientist takes a group of erythrocytes, red blood cells and plays them in a beaker containing a solution. The cells begin to shrink and eventually lease. What can be concluded about the solution? Even if you know the answer, please watch this video to the end, I am sure you are going to learn something new today. And the first variant A, the solution was hypotonic to the erythrocytes. Imagine that his blood serum. So I show this with blue color because usually we show with blue color water and serum is mostly water. Those it is actually slightly yellowish color. And he is a single red blood cell. And what hypotonic means, that means that concentration of salts in the blood serum is going to be lower than inside of the red blood cell. You also can imagine that this red uh, line shows by lipid layer that separates exterior of the cell and interior. So here inside of the cell we have higher concentration of salts and least concentration of water. That means that water is going to go where the concentration of water is least. In this case the cell is going to inflate and eventually burst. So this is wrong suggestion and variant 2. The solution contained albumin. Albumin is a protein which is normally present in the blood serum. So if we have a solution with albumin nothing going to happen to erythrocytes. So this is also wrong suggestion. And next variant C the solution was isotonic to the erythrocytes. What does Isotonic means, isotonic means that blood serum has the same osmotic pressure as osmotic pressure inside of the red blood cells. And of course if osmotic pressure inside of the cell and outside of the cell is going to be the same, nothing going to happen to such red blood cell. So this is also wrong statement and next statement D, the solution contained bicarbonate and this is probably most interesting part of my video. So you know that in the blood we can find CO2 dissolved, these molecules of the gas that uh, dissolved in the blood serum and also red blood cells pick up it from our say muscles, organs and bring to the lungs in order to get rid of this waste product and pick up oxygen. But actually when CO2 contact with water, so H2O, this is going to result in the bicarbonate molecule and here is a formula, so carbon here in the middle, oxygen here, oxygen here, OH here plus one proton and we also see here partially double bond and negative charge. So actually CO2 in our blood is present in the form of the bicarbonate and bicarbonate makes 90% in our blood. And also this reaction can result in different molecule which is carbonic acid. So carbon here, oxygen, OH group here and another OH group here. So now as you see over 90% CO2 in our blood is present in the form of the bicarbonate, few percent in the form of the carbonic acid and very few just couple percent in the form of CO2. So the presence of the bicarbonate in the blood, blood serum or in a solution is not going to affect red blood cells. It's also uh, present in the red blood cells, it is a norm. So now you see we have only one variant left. The solution was hypertonic to the erythrocytes. What that means? Hypertonic solutions has higher concentration of salts if we compare with inside of the cell and that means that inside of the cell is higher concentration of water. So water is going to come from the cell to the solution from higher concentration of water to where there is least concentration of water. 
So red blood cell will lose water and undergo coronation or shrivel. One more time, if we have hypotonic solution, then water would go inside the cell and cell would burst. If we have hypertonic solution, then water from the cell would go into the solution and would cause cell to lease. And as you see, the correct answer is answer E. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.